Welcome back everyone to example two of our series where we use the Wilcoxon rank sum test for independent samples. This time the question reads, in a study of smoking and its effects on sleep patterns, one variable is the time that it takes to fall asleep. A random sample of 12 is drawn from the population of smokers, and another sample of 15 is drawn from the population of non-smokers. The data results are shown underneath. We're expected to find whether this data indicates that smokers tend to take longer to fall asleep than non-smokers. To start the process off, we'll be writing down the null and alternative hypothesis. But keep in mind what kind of data we're looking at. The question doesn't mention anything about being normally distributed. So we have to use a non-parametric test and not the t-test. In addition, the data is independent where the information found here isn't linked to the information found here. And with that being said, the null hypothesis is that it takes the non-smokers and we'll be using the median of this population and that's represented using this symbol, this tilde symbol. N is greater or equal to the median of the other population. So this is what we're expecting not to find. What we are expecting to find is that the median of this group is greater than that of the other group. So we're expecting that it takes smokers a longer time to fall asleep. When it comes to the Wilcoxon rank sum test, we have to pull all of this data together and rank it from lowest to highest. Now, of course, that's going to take some time to do. I won't show you in real time, but this is the rank that you should end up with. Okay, I've gone ahead and written down all the ranks. Notice that this is ranked 1, and the largest one is 27. I'm just pointing that out for reference sake. Now, normally what we would do next is sum up this column of numbers and this column of numbers individually. And the smaller of those two amounts would be considered the S value, which we would use to calculate our test statistic. And the formula for that will be shown in a moment. But because this group has less people than this group, in fact, that group has 12, and this group has 15. Because this has less, the S value for this group will be used. Adding up all these values should give you 212. That being said, the test statistic is calculated using this formula, and 212 will be substituted into there, along with n sub 1 being 12 and n sub 2 being 15. Those will be substituted also wherever we see those variables. If you calculate this correctly, you will end up with a z value of 2.14698. That will be our z score, which we will locate in the z table for the probability that z is greater than 2.14698. So we need to find the probability of z being greater than that. And our table actually shows values where z is less than the number. So what we will do is take 1 minus p z being less than 2.14 Nine, eight. Now we can go ahead and find out the probability of this using the table. As you can see, the table gives us, and I'm using 2.15 just for simplicity's sake, the table gives us a value of 0 0.9842. So I have 1 minus 0 0.9842 that is equal to 0 0.0158, and we compare that to a significance level of 0 0.05. 0 0.0158 is obviously less than 0 0.05. Now because this value is less than 0 0.05, we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So we will be rejecting this in favor of the alternative where smokers take a longer time to fall asleep than non-smokers. And just to say that in another way, 
there is sufficient evidence at 0.05 significance level to say that it takes longer for smokers to fall asleep than non-smokers. And there you have it. Another example on the Wilcoxon rank sum test for independent samples.